What's an NSFW facts about a historical figures that we don't learn in school? Victor Hugo was a very diligent visitor at the Parisian brothels. So much so that the day he was buried, all the Parisian brothel closed for the day so prostitutes could go to the funeral. Carrie Mullis was doing a lot of LSD when he developed polymerase chain reaction, PCR. The new UK monarch King Charles III great-great-grandfather Edward VII was so obese that he commissioned a French carpenter to build a chair that would enable him to have sex with one or two prostitutes at once. It is called the Siege de Moor and was installed at his favourite brothel. James Joyce wrote absolutely filthy letters to his wife Nora. He was one randy chap altogether. Edgar Allan Poe, M27, married his slightly younger cousin, F13. Victor Hugo wrote in the nude as a form of motivation. He was a horrible procrastinator so he would lock himself in a room and have his clothes taken as encouragement to get his work done, because he was cold. When he was finished, he'd get his clothes back. That one French president who ended up dying of a blowjob. Herodotus. An ancient Greek historian once stated that female mummies who passed away in ancient Egypt were found more decomposed than male mummies. The reason being was that the females were kept at home for longer periods of time before sent for embalming to prevent necrophilia. Not quite a historical figure but John Pemberton, the inventor of Coca-Cola, did so because he was chronically addicted to morphine and was trying to get off of it. Original ingredients were cocaine, famously, sugar, alcohol, and caffeine. He was trying to supplant his other addiction. It did not work. The author of Frankenstein lost her virginity on her mother's grave. John Quincy Adams boasted that outdoor boning was an American invention. Between that, his pet alligator, and a life spent in public service, literally from his teenage years until his death, probably far more interesting than most people who've held high office in the USA. Ben Franklin liked to stand nude in front of open windows.